Hi everyone, it's me Sean Nolan again, and today I'm going to talk you through five of the best things that I've seen in the past five years on the West End. In no particular order, let's start by talking about Matilda, which has music written by Tim Minchin. I saw the show just after it opened at the Cambridge Theatre in London, and I absolutely fell in love with everything about this show. The music is incredible, the story is moving, and a fantastic adaptation of Roald Dahl's novel, and the sets are absolutely mesmerising. This is one of the best things I think I've ever seen in the West End, and I'm so happy to see it have so much success as well. If you haven't seen the show already, you can get tickets down below at London Theatre Direct. It really is an incredible show. My personal favourite moment from the show itself was when Matilda was controlling the cup that was on the horse in the gymnasium with her mind and Miss Trunchbull goes absolutely crazy and is so confused. It's just incredible. Another favourite moment though, actually come to think about it, is when Miss Trunchbull swings a girl with her pigtails around in circles and everyone in the audience is so confused as to how on earth they managed to make it happen. It is truly, truly a magical show. Another one of my top five favourite shows I've seen in the past five years is actually a play and this is the curious incident of the dog in the night time. I saw this when it was actually at the Apollo Theatre shortly after it opened and everything about the show is incredible. I know I'll say this about all of the shows but honestly this is absolutely stunning both visually as a show, it is beautiful, it is a moving story, a fantastic adaptation of the novel if you ever read the novel. I think I actually prefer it to the book. It is that that good. The cast was just absolutely stunning. I know the cast has changed now, but I believe the cast is even better now than it was before. It is a fantastic show. Go and catch this at Gilgood if you get the chance, or on the UK tour if you can't get yourself down to London. The favourite part of this show is actually hard to name. I think pretty much everything about it was fantastic, but I most loved it when the floor opens up and the tube train comes along. A fantastic part from the book and is done so expertly on stage. It is incredible. My next favourite from the past five years is a show that's actually no longer running on the West End, but I thought I'd mention it anyway because it really was incredible. And this is the Chichester Festival Theatre Company version of Sweeney Todd, which transferred to the Adelphi back in 2012. I saw it, I think, about a month or two into its run. Absolutely stunning. Michael Ball was incredible as Sweeney Todd, and even better was Imelda Staunton as Mrs Lovett. I believe they both took home the Olivier's that year for those performances. They really were stunning. And if you didn't get to see the show, definitely download the cast album off of iTunes, it is absolutely stunning. They are incredible. And of course you can catch Imelda in another Chichester show which is transferred to London, Gypsy. Um, I was going to include this in the lineup, but I think it would have been a bit too cheeky to mention it because it is so new and I already had Imelda in here as well, but it honestly is one of the best things I've ever seen. So go and see that instead because you can't see this anymore. I think my favourite moment from this was just how sinister it was and how I didn't think two people that could be so funny, Imelda Staunton and Michael Ball, who are obviously such a perfect pairing could really be so serious and sinister and work the part so well. It really was a fantastic casting, a fantastic staging, and just one of the best things I've ever seen. I really wanted to bring this production back. It was so, so good. Another favourite has actually closed already as well, and this is the 2013 revival of A Chorus Line. A Chorus Line is actually perhaps my favourite musical, definitely one of my favourite musicals of all time in the top three. I adore the music from A Chorus Line, I adore the story, I just think the simplicity of it is so fantastic and how great it is. This show was actually performed in one act, uh, I think it's always performed in one act anyway, but it's extremely long for one act, I think it's almost two and a half hours, so it is the length of a normal show, just without an interval, but it really, really is moving. The music is fun, it is hilarious, and it was really, really well choreographed, which is what I loved about it the most. It was really sad to see how such a short run at the Palladium back in 2013, but I still loved it all the same. And they did say at the time they were going to do a tour, so hopefully that tour immortalises very, very soon. But definitely download a cast album of A Chorus Line, never heard it before. It was a transfer actually of the 2006 Broadway revival, I believe. So download that cast album especially, because it really is a fantastic, fantastic show. My final favourite is a show that sadly announced its closing on the 27th of February next year, but this is perhaps the best musical I think I've ever, ever seen. I think you can already see a massive billboard of it behind me. This is Miss Saigon. Miss Saigon is my favourite musical of all time, and when the revival opened in the West End, I held on to the end of previews, because I'm not a big fan of previews. I went and waited throughout the preview season, and I was going to go when the summer came, but my grandma and I had booked tickets to go in the September, and I didn't want to upset her by going before our trip, so I held on and absolutely fell in love. Miss Saigon is an incredible, incredible show and it's so sad to see it close. It is one of the most spectacular theatrical events I've ever seen in my life. It's such a major production scale of the show. It is massive, the score is incredible and the show itself is so moving and the cast 
It's absolutely expert. This is a fantastic show and I really cannot express my love for this show enough and tell you you need to go and see it before it closes in February, at least once. I'll be going at least three times to go and see the show again. I've already seen it three times. I'll go and see it three times more. This show is in incredible you cannot miss it i think my favorite part of the show has to be the iconic part in the second act which if you know miss saigon you'll know which bit i'm on about uh, if you don't i don't want to, ru to ruin the surprise for you but this really is an incredible show head down to the prince edward theater and go and catch it for sure so those are my five favourite things that I've been able to see in the past five years at the West End, which is a hard thing for me to choose. I think I've definitely seen triple digit amount of shows in the past five years, so it was really hard to pick out my ultimate favourites. But when I was looking through my box of programmes and I found these ones, I definitely decided that these were some of the most exciting and best things I think I've ever seen in London's West End. So if you like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to London Theatre Direct's YouTube channel because more of them will be coming up in the future. You can also follow me on Twitter, which we link down below, and subscribe to me on YouTube which will be linked down below and read more of my blog posts and other people's blog posts on londontheatredirect.com.